It's 6.30, so we probably should get started. Uh, my name is Mary Farwell. I am chair of the Library Board of Trustees. And I'd like to welcome all of you to our first ever school board candidate forum. Uh, Becky Burke, who is our moderator for the school, is going to run the session. Um, but first, I have a commercial. Uh, in case there's anybody on the planet who has not heard that the library has an affinity relationship with TD Bank, uh, and that they will give us a grant if uh, we sign up 300 TD Bank account holders by March. Um, it doesn't cost you anything. Um, all you have to do is fill out this, it, there's forms over there, and it just identifies you as a library supporter. Uh, so if you have not, and you are willing to, uh, please fill out a form over there, give it to one of the trustees, uh, and we can put it towards our, our whole thing. We need 300 account holders by March 20th. So I'm going to turn this over to Becky, uh, and we will go from there. And again, thank you for coming. Great. Please rise for the pledge. of one question which is specific to that candidate. Um, you as the audience, I would ask you not to cheer, boo, applaud, uh, anything else for a couple of reasons. One, because it wastes time, and two, because I'd like to say for the voting booth where it really counts. Um, uh, I will ask um, all of the questions at the beginning and toward the end of, of the uh, session if there are questions that I have not asked that you would like to ask, um, that is perfectly acceptable. And there are cards in the front of the room and also paper in the back of the room. If you want to write it down and give it to Mary, she's, she's going to be the holder of all the written questions that come in from you um, as we go forward and we will take it from there. Um, one, one final word. Um, the um, taping is being done by uh, David Pearl. Um, we had quite a bit of uh, conversation about how to make this um, fair. Um, David, as you probably know, does a lot of taping of, of a public meetings around town, and he has agreed to make the full unedited tape available to each candidate um, as of the end of the day tomorrow or first thing in the morning on Friday, as well as make it publicly available on the library website. So again, free and fair access to information and <coughs> in the of the day. And um, I think, uh, so I thank you, Dave, for doing that. And let's see, what else have I forgotten to say? I think that's it. Are there any questions that you have of the format? Any questions that you have from the audience about how the program structure is? Becky, actually, it's Mr. Myville who's doing the taping. Oh, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm not David Pearl, I'm, I'm Mark Meville. <laughs> this is David I was, I was asked to do the videotaping. I, I prefer, I, I promise I'll be fair and, and, and non partisan Thank you. Thank you for that clarification. <laughs> okay, are we ready? Can you talk about how the microphones are going to be used? So that um, I, I'm not sure we're going to need to use the microphones unless <clears throat> people raise their hands and say they can't hear. Is, it, is everyone able to hear me pretty well? I tend to be the projector. Okay, so um, just speak up. I'm going to give your answer. I think we'll be good. Okay. All right, so let's go. Um, Mr. Pearl, first question to you. Uh, two minute time limit. Uh, why should the Hooks voters elect you? Well, since I moved here in 2000, I've been very active with Hooks it. Uh, 
I, I uh, volunteered down at Underhill extensively and created the ELVES program where we did a computer lab for the kindergarten through second grade. And we were able to do that without any impact to the taxpayers. And uh, I have always been conscious of that balance between providing a quality education without impacting the tax rate too much. And I think that that's, it was very evident this year. Um, I was active on the budget committee in, in reducing the school budget. And now I would like a chance to serve on the school board to be more involved in that. Um, everything is rising except people's wages at this point. Um, and I think we need to really come out with some, some good insight as to how we're going to spend this money in the school that the town, <coughs> the people of the town are providing for the school. Um, I have served four years on the budget committee. Um, I fulfilled all my commitments that I've ever made in town and I plan to fulfill the three-year term on the school board. Um, I've attended many school board meetings going back to 2005 and really had a good, uh, uh, a, a good example of, of how the school board, in my opinion, should run and how effective it can be. And I'm anxious to, to bring some changes to the school board to make it more efficient. And, and as my goal has always been, to bring more people out. I think we all suffer from not having enough people come out. I'm glad to see this many people here tonight. I'm, I'm hoping that to make some changes in the school board so that people will want to be involved and they'll want to come and, and take part and see how their kids are learning and, and frankly, how their money is being spent. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I think uh, it should elect me, first of all, because I'm not a politician. I think I'm a typical parent and taxpayer, and I'd like to uh, just happen to have uh, 27 years of education experience, and I think uh, that I could help this board uh, very much with my experience as an educator, and I would basically try to um, I have two things. I've tried to do what's best for the students of Hookset and for the taxpayers of Hookset. That's, that's my goal. And I think that the board needs a new uh, board and, and some change to it. The board definitely needs some change in, in a positive way, and I think I can provide that. Thank you. <clears throat> I think uh, I'm asking for the voters uh, to vote for me because I think that I can bring uh, some uh, very strong analytical skills to the problems at hand. There are, I see, two uh, basic fundamental problems that we're dealing with on a daily basis as a school board is that the students and spending someone else's money and getting to the point where the students are uh, effectively educated and a very uh, productive uh, person in society is a very uh, essential part of what we do as the school board and the school and uh, uh, enabling the teachers to do their job. You know, part of the school board would be, uh, the job would be to uh, remove any barriers or to alleviate any of the problems that the student or the teachers have in educating the kids. And again, also it's something to do with the money that we're spending, $26 million plus this year, uh, needs to be uh, carefully considered. And you know, all possibilities and, and actions need to be taken so that the money is spent wisely and get the most bang for your buck uh, in this particular situation. So uh, analyzing and drawing from the community because people in the community that don't necessarily sit on the board may have wonderful ideas and we need to draw that information out. I've been here in, in Hooksa from since 1994 and have enjoyed the, the town very much. You know, volunteering as <coughs> a soccer coach and, and in my church and things of that nature. And, I think that we can take this community to a, a, the next level with uh, you know, the kids that we have here. Um, I put my name on the ballot for school board because to me, I, and those of you that have children like I do, they're one of the most important things in your life. And it's important for us as citizens in Hooksit to make sure that we work with the tax bracket that we have and we have a budget that we can work with that's balanced that makes sense but it also is important to do the right thing for our kids and i've been attending school board meetings now for this past year on a regular basis and then sporadically over the last few years as well as volunteering in all of the schools and volunteering in the community throughout southern new hampshire 
and I just believe at this point in time, the board could really use a little bit of organizational skills and business background to come up with some plans that is fair for everybody. Um, I actually am a Rotarian in Nashua, New Hampshire, and you know, if any of you are Rotarians and share with me, we live with a four-way test every day, and that four-way test is, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Is it going to benefit everybody? Is it beneficial to all concerned? And these are things that I live with every day, and I really think I can bring that organization and that fairness to the board to help them come up with some policies, some procedures, look at the budget, look at our taxes, and look at what's right for our kids. Thank you. Uh, I'm asking uh, for your vote again to serve uh, for the Hookswood School Board. Uh, my dedication to the town and to the school uh, is paramount. I think all this, all the uh, activities I'm involved in, uh, I have uh, resulted in positive effects working with uh, school boards for the last 12 years and uh, the council. I think my decisions uh, have been thoughtful, uh, well made, uh, and uh, sound fiscally and educationally. Uh, I have a unique perspective of not only uh, have worked in the uh, school district as a, uh, as a substitute teacher, uh, a para, and a uh, student teacher. I also have worked uh, at National High School. Uh, and I also have a unique uh, perspective of serving on other boards, uh, not as well as council and budget committee. Uh, it's important that uh, we do what's best for the kids, which has always said that. That's been the, uh, the mantra I have served, I think, uh, for 12 years. I've uh, done a, a, a great job, uh, not by myself, working with uh, many boards over the last 12 years. Uh, Hooks is a great uh, school district. Uh, I would compare it to, uh, equal to no other district uh, for a K-8 uh, group. Um, there's lots of things to be do. Unfortunately, costs do get up. Uh, we're working to reduce that. Um, we did, hopefully, together we worked to reduce the tax burden at least 13 cents, but that's that's a good note. Uh, but one thing is, there was a, 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 an article a few year, uh, months ago that uh, stated that uh, started off with Bedford, but with Hookset, we were able to um, uh, we could keep costs down per student, but show dramatic increases in test scores. Thank, Thank you. you. Next question. Um, Mr. Dubias, we will start with you on this one. If you are elected, what is your understanding of your role as a school board member? And who do you believe are your constituencies? Well, I think, uh, as I said before, I think the my job would be to do what's best for the students of Hookset and for the taxpayers of Hookset, and that can be done. There's um, there's some people that feel that um, if you're going to do what's best for the students, it's going to cost more money, and I don't believe that. I think this. Uh, in my ways, in my years in education, in different facets, I've been able to see many ways that you can do programs that will help students or, or different things that are best for the students without costing extra money. It doesn't just mean pouring extra money into it. Uh, and more importantly, I've seen a lot of ways that it's not efficient. The way that things are being done now is not efficient. And uh, is that time? Yep, yeah, almost. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thanks. And and so I think that um, the, my constituents would be the taxpayers and the students. That's, that's what I'm trying to serve. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, I neglected to say this is a one minute question. I apologize. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, yes, Mr. Damon. Whoops. <laughs> that quick. <laughs> if I'm elected, uh, the duties of a the school board member are, uh, are fairly well spelled out in uh, ED uh, 303. So it's just more or less running the business of the school. There's a, there's a business aspect of that. Uh, but running the business is, is just not a simple money matter. Um, we have to, as a school board, provide a, a quality product. So the constituency is the students and the, and the township. You know, the, the parents of these students are the most affected by the, uh, the, the rules and the, the policies that are set. So these policies need to be in a particular fashion that will provide 